Editing audio inside DaVinci Resolve can seem a little bit intimidating or a bit confusing, but don't worry, I'll break down some tips and tricks to start editing audio inside DaVinci. Coach is Bill Common, I'm Hayden, and this is Cinematography. So I'll be going over some of the beginner tips and tricks for editing audio inside DaVinci. However, if you're a more experienced video editor, I'll be showing you some tips and tricks for editing audio later on in DaVinci Resolve that you may not be aware of. The first thing we'll do is run over our project settings, and to get to those, just come down to this gear down here. And from here, we'll look for the Fairlight tab. And right here, we have all of our metering types. All this stuff, I actually pretty much just leave at default. However, the target loudness level, I put that at negative 14 just for YouTube. But I know this can be really helpful if you're actually an audio engineer. So if we were going to be making a new sequence, you would just right click over here and go to timelines, create new timeline. And the cool thing is, is that you can actually add more audio tracks if you want. And the audio track type, you can go pretty much anywhere. I, I honestly just leave it at stereo because I do a lot of social media content. And you just hit create and from there you'll have a timeline made and you have your three stereo audio channels. There's a couple other ways to add more tracks. One way that's really easy is actually just taking an audio clip, dragging it and then dropping it down here. So you have that or if you already have some audio on your timeline, you can just select it. I'm going to hit alter option and down arrow and that'll just bring it down there and it just keeps making all those tracks. The other way to do it is you can right click over here and hit add track. And from there you can select what type of audio track you want. The other thing you can do with these tracks is you can double click them and rename them. So like I may hit VO for voiceover so I know that all the audio on this track is voiceover only. Now one thing that may happen to you is if you add an audio file on a stereo track and it's sounding mono or it's only coming out one ear, I'm gonna show you how you can easily fix that. All you have to do, select the audio clip, right click on it, come up to clip attributes, and then from here, select audio, and then whereas format, it may say mono. All you do is switch that to stereo and then pick the audio channel that's coming out and select OK. And then it'll be coming out of both sides instead of just the one. If you want to see your audio meters, they do have this little tiny icon up here that you can see moving right there. But if you want to be able to see it a lot cleaner, just come up over here to mixer. Click that shock current, and you can kind of tell it's open source because. And now you can see your audio levels properly. You can also adjust your volume here on individual tracks or the mix, which is the entire track as a whole. And this audio right here that you're seeing, this is actually the audio that's coming out of your speakers, your headphones, whenever you're editing. So if you adjust this, this isn't actually going to adjust the audio when you export the video. This comes in handy if you're maybe watching something in the background or you're just messing with effects and you don't need to listen to audio. So you can always just drag that down, make it louder, or you can just click it right there to mute it. For viewing our audio, we can click this button right here and our audio view options are right here. We can adjust the track height for everything. The other thing is your audio may actually be centered like this. So I like to turn that off and have everything at the bottom. If it's too far on the bottom, you can click this one and it puts it right on top of the name of the file. And there's also this little highlighter thing so you can see the actual edge of it. But honestly, there's not really enough contrast to see much of a difference. And in the event you're not seeing any of your waveforms at all, just click this button right here and it'll pop them up. Now, if you wanted to actually edit the volume, you can do that a couple ways. Just select the clip and then come up here to our inspector. If you don't see it, it's this button here. And then you have audio right here. And you can adjust your volume here just like that. And you can see that it will actually move down on the track itself. So you have a visual representation of how loud it is. And then you can also add a keyframe, move here, turn up the volume and it adds another keyframe. So you can pretty much animate your volume here. You can also do that on top of the track itself by just dragging when you see these little arrows. You can hold down Alt or Option and click on the line to add extra keyframes. And then you can move these keyframes around. And if it's too harsh, if you want to have a smooth transition in your audio, you just right click on one of these and you can ease in, ease out or ease in and out. And you'll see a subtle little shift in the waveform there. Now, if you want to actually fade your music in and out, you can do that by grabbing these little tabs right here and just drag it. So we have a fade in and fade out. And if we want to smooth those, we can grab the little dot here and just drag it like that. If you wanted to mute an audio clip, you don't want to mess with actually adjusting the volume on it. You can do that by selecting the clip and hitting D to disable it. So that clip is disabled 
and the audio will not be playing from it. Another thing you can do is if you want the entire track to be muted, you just hit the M for mute track. You can also hit S for solo and that will solo the track. So only that audio track is what you will hear. The other thing we may want to do is have a cross dissolve transition. When you have two pieces of audio touching, you just go right here in the middle and you see this icon right here and you select when it highlights green, then you right click and then you have a crossfade that you can add with six frames, 12 frames, 24 or 48 frames. You can always zoom back in, select the edge and drag it that way. If you want to extend it or shorten it, you can come back over here to your inspector for your transition and you can actually make the crossfade louder or quieter or just keep the same volume. And you can also add a fade in and out. That's a basic rundown of how to start editing audio in DaVinci. Now we're going to get to a little bit more of the advanced tips. Pretty much everything audio when you want to really polish it is going to be done in the Fairlight page, which is this little music icon here. So I'll just give a brief rundown of everything here. If this is what you're seeing, you can always hit meters and this will show you an actual visual representation of your video. And if you don't like that here, you can always hit this little floating window icon and now you can move your video preview anywhere you want. You can even put it on another monitor if you wanted to and you can just hit that button and I'll snap it right back here. One thing you'll notice pretty quickly is you can't actually see your video clips. You only see audio clips. So if you want to see your video clips, you can do that by clicking this button here and then selecting this first icon here. And then that'll pop up all of your video tracks and you can see them labeled here. And then another thing that's really, really cool is if you go back to this, you can hit the scroller and what the scroller is, is going to show you your clips as it's playing of DaVinci. We now have an open source one called it. This way you can get really, really minute on your cuts for audio as well with the scroller. You can add in a couple audio tracks as well. So you can see those right on here. So we want to keep music on this track and then let's just do like our sound effect track there. I wanted to put together a list of and you can see those waveforms right there at the bottom. Another thing that's kind of cool is if you're zoomed in and you start playing the 10 free altern you'll notice that the playhead will kind of skip ahead and then bring you with it. You can actually change that. So if you come over here and you select this button right here, it will play everything through and you can stay at the current location that you're at. Pro where you can edit. The other thing you can do is if you hit the lock icon, it will keep the playhead right in the middle the whole time. So everything moves uniformly. Did some pretty good looking videos. However, a couple other things that we have in here is our equalizers and you can see them right here with EQ and you just double click it to open it up. And right here, there's already a lot of presets already inside here. You also have a gain so you can make up a little bit of those quieter areas if you want. And you can even copy and paste your equalizer settings if you want them going on to some other tracks as well. You can even add it as a preset if you're going to be using this particular type of audio for a lot of videos. Right here is your pan. You can select the blue square and move it to the left or to the right just to pan your audio from left to the right. Or if you're working with a surround sound edit, you can actually move it pretty much anywhere around in space using this feature. Up above equalizer, you have dynamics. So with dynamics, I use this for is for a compressor, which you have compressor right here. And this just helps with making your audio sound a lot more punchier. And you can also bring up the makeup and together a list of two. And you can adjust all your threshold, your ratio. The knee kind of smooths it out. And free alternatives to Premiere Pro where you can edit some pretty good looking videos. And then you can always turn everything on and off with this red dot here. However, I had to shorten that list to nine because it turns out that Filmora only offers a free version with a watermark. And what's watermark? If you want a more in-depth video going over the Dynamics plugin, let me know and I'll make one of those. The other thing we have is effects. You just hit this little plus icon and then you have all these effects that you can add in. You can also add effects from up here in your effects tab and then just drag and drop those on there. So earlier we added a crossfade transition onto this clip. I'm going to make this bigger by just dragging this down and we can grab this and would actually adjust how that crossfade sounds. If we're trying to work on a certain audio portion, we don't want to work on everything altogether. We can just select this and then just drag a certain portion 
make sure that this replay icon is selected. And now we can just play and everything will keep repeating the whole time. Free version of DaVinci. We now have an open source one on just the free version of DaVinci. We now have an open source one on. And let's solo this. And with just a few clicks, we can make more precise, cleaner audio edits. And then if you want to actually get rid of these in and out points, all you do is hit Alt or Option X, and that'll get rid of those. This next part is actually something they added recently, and it's really, really cool if you're someone that is into music editing. And it's right here, this little grid icon. For one, we can turn on a grid view, so we just see everything a lot more easily. We can hit the magnet icon, so then now our playhead sticks to each of these little ticks. We can also go to our resolution. We're already pretty low to like a fourth of a frame. And then this is the cool part. Hit this music icon on our time scale. If you know the music you're using, you can add in your time signature here. You can also adjust your tempo here and the start time of the song, at least on the timeline. That way you can actually make proper edits to the beat of your music. I don't think I touched a quarter of all the audio things you can do inside DaVinci, specifically in Fairlight. If I was to make a full deep dive into Fairlight, it would probably be a three hour video. So if there's something specific I didn't go over in this video, let me know in the comment section. And if you found value in this, leave a like and check out this video popping up right here that the algorithm thinks you'd like to watch next. Until next time, off we do zine.